Rando and Annika, one of the more recent trending topics that have been circulating the internet as of late. What exactly is Rando and Annika? Who's using it? How does it work? And all these crazy happenings that have come along with it. Are they just pure coincidence or is there something more to it? Let's talk about it. Rando Nautica is an app that uses a quantum computer and your own thoughts to generate locations for users to visit. Now at this point you're probably thinking, wow Davey that sounds so interesting, glad you made a video about it buddy. But that's not where it ends. You don't just open the app, think, and you go to a location and that's it. No. This app is known to bring people to very, very crazy, weird, creepy locations or at least find things in these locations that is kind of wild or just unbelievable almost. The idea is if you're manifesting the idea of say death and your intentions are to find death, then the app uses that intention to generate locations where you would most likely find death in some kind of form. Now I know what you're already thinking, bull shit. There's no way this is real, it's fake, and something like that cannot exist in today's world. And I would agree with this wholeheartedly. I feel the exact same way when I heard about this. So I did a little bit of research regarding the science behind Randonautica. And here's what I came up with. That it was actually a theory developed by a man named Joshua Langfelder, combined with a computer code that used a quantum computer to generate these locations. This is the app known as Randonautica as we know today. According to the New York Times, Langfelder was a former circus performer and his theory contains no peer-reviewed proof that I could find anyways, meaning nobody else has approved uh, Joshua Langfelder's theory that all this is possible and it really has no true scientific backing. But, 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 a huge but here, that doesn't explain the crazy um, happenings that have been going on when people have used the app. Guys, we found a suitcase at the beach. Gabby, go. I'll hold your stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Bro. Wait, open it. <laughs> <laughs> open it. Open it. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. <laughs> it washed out. It's oh. <gasps> oh. Okay, so she made Okay, so she's calling the police so we can see if it's actually a dead body or it's just food. What do I found a suitcase on the Yeah, here's the crime scene. Police are investigating after several bags filled with human remains were found near the water on Alki Avenue this afternoon. I want to show you a look here at what's happening there. Police say they have they had received a call about a suspicious bag. They found more once arriving on the scene. You can see police out there right now. Harbor Patrol also helping out and the King County Medical Examiner's Office has been called in. His lack of proof or his lack of science don't really discount the crazy things that people have been finding when using his app. So how do we explain these occurrences? Pure coincidence? If 10,000 people use the Randonautica app a day and only 10 people have strange crazy reports, is that just pure coincidence? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any numbers to validate this theory, but I do think that there are probably way more people using this app that are coming up with zero result, but don't post about it. And the people that are posting about it are happen to be the people that are finding something crazy when they go along on these adventures. But I have watched some very credible YouTubers uh, one guy uh, by the name of Nick Crowley, sorry if I butchered his name, but Nick Crowley is like a skeptic. He reports on these, um, you know, crazy cold cases and murder stories and uh, horror stories and just like stuff that's insane. And he gives a very dynamic perspective from all different points of view. And I watched him actually go ahead and use the Rando Nautica app. Him and his uh, girlfriend, I believe. Since he's such a skeptic, I feel like the whole process was pretty unbiased. And I will admit that a couple crazy things happened to him while he was out searching for these locations. So, I don't know. I guess it's really up to um, each individual whether they want to believe whether the app works or not or if it's just pure coincidence. 
Um, but I would like to know what you guys think about it and maybe you've tried it in your experiences. So if you have an experience with Randonautica or you just have a perspective on it, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Anyways guys, that's the end of this video. Just a brief summary of the Randonautica world. Uh, watch Nick Crowley's video because it's a great video. So anyways guys, I'm Davey on everything. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Everybody have a great day.